Welcome to Recruiter Zamir. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, connecting your SQL instance so that you have created on GCP and uh, you're trying to connect from SSMS and getting this error. So you're getting this error called uh, named uh, pipe provider error 40 and uh, could not open a connection to the SQL server, Microsoft SQL server error 53. So this is what I did uh, right there. I tried to connect. Uh, I have the correct uh, IP address. Uh, I have correct username and password, uh, but I'm getting this error. So let me show you uh, how you solve that problem so first of all uh, when you created the SQL instance on the GCP uh, it's uh, created successfully it is running and then, then you see the IP that's the IP for connection that we are using now everything looks great and you will go to connections and uh, then uh, you see right there you said oh I have enabled the public IP and uh, why I'm not still uh, connecting uh, just uh, by uh, click on the public IP that's not going to solve your problem you also have to add Add your network so in this case uh, you will click right here add network and then uh, you have to provide some name in like in my case I will say my IP or my laptop IP and then uh, here you're gonna provide that IP so if I went to a website called what is my IP address and uh, that's look for my IP address I provided that in your case you might have a list of IPs you want to provide so you can add multiple networks right there but uh, this is my computer IP right now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit done and uh, save and uh, once it's saved uh, I should be good to go and connect uh, uh, to the SQL instance uh, from uh, my SSMS that's installed on my local laptop now again uh, as I said that just uh, by having a public IP enable is not gonna let you connect to the instance so you have to add those uh, IPs here and uh, it's uh, working right now uh, probably take a minute you know to finish this off and then we'll see our IP here and uh, then we are going to open our SSMS and connect okay our uh, finally IP is added and you can see right there my IP and uh, then uh, uh, this came back it was grayed out while it was adding so we all good here it is saved and uh, we can go back here we can just copy the IP address of our SQL instance if you have not copied already you can click right there and go right uh, to the SSMS on your local machine and paste it there the username default username is SQL server and then you provide the password so I have a complete video how to create a SQL instance and you know what the information you need to provide to create that instance so watch that as well and you once you have provide the username SQL server and password here you can connect and this time you see that there is no problem connecting to our SQL instance on GCP from our SSMS the only problem as again I'll give you a summary you always need to go to the connections and then go to the add a network and add your IP and that will solve your problem. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.